Oh, hey, hey, hey. Hi. You. There. It's Wednesday. Um, get my mouse and uh, continue the challenge. Moving the mic. Again, we are doing an urban world. Where it's a world full of urbans. Mostly Keith Urbans, because I can't think of any other urbans right now. Um, hope your day's day slash week, month, whenever you... <clears throat> Whenever you're watching this, is going well. Um, yeah, I'm recording this the day before it's live. Oh, this is doing that thingy. I'm not actually going to be able to tell where we are reading that. Whoa. Um, so, we found the glitch in the Matrix. That is amazing. I love it. Okay. Mickey, none of this looks French. Hmm. Anyway, yeah, Monday didn't go well for many reasons. Uh, score was bad. Two rushes. Hmm. Yeah, I don't know where this is. I wasn't doing a very good job. I was very quiet and timid. And that's just me being like, oh, there's other people in the house who are going to listen, and I don't want to hear them, and I'm, I'm just... Oh, it's Albania. There we go. Well, based off of my ability to not assume that other cities exist in countries other than capitals, that this is going to be Tehran, or Tirana. And we'll go from there, although... Seeing a doish color. Unless this is the Albanian embassy. I don't think... I think I've got it right. None of this stuff looks... None of this stuff looks German in any way, so... But yeah, Monday was bad. Uh, score. My ability to talk, and... Yeah, sorry. I should do better. And I hope to. I've been doing this long enough. Certain things can be maybe not demanded, but at least required from me. And I think one of those, at least, is uh, valid. Oh, so we've got up oh, Tehran International Hotel. All right, can we find Tehran International Hotel? I doubt it, but hey, we'll give it a shot. Anyway, we have today. I bet you it's near the former. Yugoslavian embassy. Based off of nothing. I just feel that this looks like it could be a former M. No, it's the opera. All right, let's look for an opera. Hmm. TV clan will just go right past that. But I'm hoping today's going to go better. For many reasons, in particular. One of them being, at least, my ability to talk and convey discussion and talk to some extent. Granted, right now, I am losing my mind. Uh, it doesn't have anything to do with this game. It's This is probably the Opera House. Is it... No, this doesn't feel like an opera house in so much as it feels like government building. Hmm. I don't think I'm going to find anything other than maybe the National Arts Ministry of Finance. I'm just looking to see. Uh, I haven't seen Taiwan Center. I don't see an Isla. Oh, yeah. So skipping right past that. Oh, it was up here. I'm just seeing if I can't see. Generally, where we were. We went down this way, I think. But I'm losing my mind mainly because it's, uh, you know, for urban world, I'm getting a lot of allegedly Russian places here. But uh, it finally happened over the weekend. On uh, Saturday, it was my dad's birthday, and he died. Well, it's going to be six years this September. And the past couple of years, I've been doing a thing where I guess my remembrance or just tribute, whatever the hell you want to call it, is uh, having something that we shared in some way or another. And last year it was uh, 
pepperoni green pepper pizza, which we always had as a kid, and uh, you'd always have a pepperoncini, which is just like a pickled uh, pepper. If you ever get uh, Papa John's, you usually add those in with a pizza when you order it. Is this Ukraine? No, or is this Kazakhstan? Oh, just, you're not, you're not working with me here. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what this is yet, but we, uh, for this, for this year, I decided, oh, um, I don't know what to do. I'll think I'll just get a Labatt. So I got a large can, I believe they're called Bombers. Uh, it's not so much a 40, it's like the size below it that you can get. And, uh, please have a URL on here so you can tell me where we are. And getting that, I was also in the process of going to another friend's birthday party, who happens to have it be a couple of days before my dad's, but it just happening on the weekends, because that's what you do. Um, and I had a bunch of other stuff to drink along with that, so I decided I'm just going to leave it in the car. Now, on f this happened Saturday. Saturday, I picked it up, left it in the car, left it overnight, and it got to be pretty cold over the weekend, and I'm sure a lot of you are probably understanding where this story is going very quickly, but for my own story, I, I gotta pick a thing. And it's just gonna be a horrible... I don't know where the hell this is. It could be Ukraine, it could be Kazakhstan. I, I haven't seen anything, and no, no URLs anywhere to tell me where this is, and I'm hoping one of these signs has it. But Sunday, or uh, Saturday night, it got cold. Now, if you don't know anything about cans, carbonated cans of any kind, and freezing, or just water that freezes in general, please URL somewhere, it, uh, water expands, you know, basic physics type thing. And when it gets cold, the can is uh, already under pressure. Well, this is, yeah, this is... Ah, fuck, that's in English. Not Luke Oil. God, tell me where we are. KG. Kyrgyzstan? I'm going to say Bishkek, because I don't know what else. It's KG. It's got to be Kyrgyzstan. And when it gets cold, I mean, you can Google these things for any, like, frozen cans and cars, and you'll just see what it looks like, but... Uh, Sunday, I mean, Saturday night, it got cold. It was below freezing Fahrenheit. You can just do the math yourself if you want. Like, zero degrees Fahrenheit. And nothing happened. It didn't freeze that night. Uh, I get up, I go do some, uh, chores, uh, go to the grocery store, do a bunch of stuff that day. I actually even see the can as it's just sitting in the back of the car, and I had zero, like, it was like, oh yeah, the can's back there. Huh. And then I immediately forgot about it. I forgot it existed. No flags popped up. In I gotta pay attention more to the uh, time than what I do. But anyway, I'm gonna try to work that out so the cuts don't look so weird. But anyway, no recollection, no concept whatsoever of... The, the potential of a, a bomb going off in the back of my car. Now, it's a bit hyperbole, but it also isn't at the same time. This could be Turkey. As initial guess right now, that's what I got. So, Sunday night it was cold, but I didn't think it was as cold. Okay, maybe this isn't. Hmm. I'm going to turn around. Oh, Malaysia. All right. Maybe this is Malaysia. I don't know yet. But Sunday, nothing happened. I, uh, what do we got here? Ramen? Nice. Yep, my Malaysia. Here we go. Problem is, Malaysia is very big. Hmm. <clears throat> so we've got BAMP. And I believe BAMP is Malaysia. So I don't, I'm just going to click on one island. It's going to be bad score, I think, if I don't nail this in any way. 
But again, saw it, no thought of it, whatever. So we're near Turbang. I don't think I'm going to find Turbang anywhere here. But I have nothing else to hope to find. Anyway, uh, go to work Monday morning. Um, I happen to look at my car and I'm like, I look at my front seat and like, why is there like little bits? Of, it looks like white little bits of paper are torn up and they're just sprinkled strones throughout my car. I'm like, what is that? And then I happen to open the door and it's just, if you ever smelled, you know, it's almost like a stale, stale, stale beer smell. I can't talk right now as normal stale beer smell and it just everywhere and then i happen to look in the back and then it all comes rushing back to me and it's just oh fuck so i was leaving the normal time i do for work which meant i had very little time to take care of a thing such as a car full of frozen beer so I just scraped it as best I could, and uh, I was just like, God damn it, I just got so annoyed. And it, it, it was just me spending the rest of the day at work just knowing, okay, this thing's in the car, it's, it's going to stink, i got to do something to clean it. So I'm, I'm, I'm thinking, all right, what's the first thing I can do to actually take care of it myself, if there's such a thing? And uh, the girlfriend suggested that, you know, whenever she had other like big stinky odors in the car she would just spray vinegar on it and then take care of it and then the next day the odor would be gone so it's like great fantastic get out of work get a bunch of vinegar uh go back home attempt to clean it normally as you would but also dealing with the fact that it is just above freezing but any like thin layer of water over anything not fabric is going to freeze up. That's just it was it was just cold enough where where that was an issue, and it just led to me trying to spray things on, clean it off, but it would just instantly turn to frost as I was scraping at it, and just be like, well, this is just kind of a lost cause trying to clean this. And then I went and uh, just got the vinegar, sprayed it everywhere as best I could, and went off. Oh, all right, whatever. Cross my fingers, waited for the next day to see if it actually would do the magical thing of sitting for a while and cleaning. Like, I, I've, I've given up as far as me finding where this is. I Hopefully I picked the right island. That's where we're going to stay with it right now. We got one second. Time to better that time. And of course, other side of the country. Because that's why. So anyway, this feels like it's France. I think I am pretty safe in that guess. My Little Pony movie, huh? Anyway, wake up in the morning, go to my car. Now it smells like beer and salt and vinegar potato chips. So half of that smell I'm okay with. But I finally resigned myself to be at work. I'm like, all right, I got to get the thing detailed, get it cleaned. I'm not going to try to fight this anymore to try to get this stupid car to get fixed. Right now I'm going to pick Paris. But that very well can change because there's a lot of cities in this country. So make a couple of phone calls, end up finding a place that's like, uh, it sounds like you just need a shampoo in the back of the car. So great. It's, it'll be 40 bucks. Great. Go over there, drop it off during lunch. Felt a little, I like, I explained it to him. He's like, yeah, yeah. You know, it's, it sounds like you just shampoo the car. I'm going to take care of it. It's fine. It's great. Don't worry about it. And the entire time I'm just like, well, but you know, there's some other stuff too. He's like, no, no, I'll take care of it. I didn't want to just keep pushing it on the fact because the guy does this for a job. And he's like, all right, yeah, I get it. You can relax. Stop, stop telling me, you know, how to do my job. I'm just like, eh, 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 you know, it's like, fine, whatever. His, it's uh, his job. I'm, I'm sure he knows how to do it. Go there, drop it off. This, okay, here we go. Relays info. Does Paris at all look? There is a river that runs through Paris. However, I don't think it runs in that direction. Because, see, I was going like that. Although, there's a section that it could. Like, up here it could be. I'm not entirely convinced, but, again. That last one really put a huge hamper on our score. Baby driver, huh? Well, this wasn't that long ago. So, now I get it back home and I'm I'm just doing the whole like can it, 
is is it clean? I can't I can't tell. Is is what's like I think I smell like I smell a little bit of vinegar, but that's just probably gonna go away in time. But like is is it did he do they do the thing? I'm sitting there getting gas. I, I take a paper towel that's just at the gas station and I'm just dabbing it on there and I'm like sniffing this piece of paper in a parking lot. I'm like, I can't tell if I smell it or if I've just like lost my mind and everything scent smells the same and I'm just at the point now of just being like, all right, you know what, fuck it. I'm, I can't smell it now. I, I'm psyching myself out. I, I think I can. I think I can't. I don't know anymore. I'm just going to wait until tomorrow, see if it dissolves a bit. And if it doesn't, we'll go from there. Um, long story short, if you did not learn anything else from my issue, just uh, don't leave anything in a car frozen. It will just cause a mess. And it'll just be a, an annoyance. Especially in the winter. Um, just check dot fr out. So I was just double checking to make sure that's where this was. And I guess I just have that luck with cars I own, where in the first year or so of owning it, something happens to it. And I'd, I'd be really happy if this turns out to be like the bad thing that happens with the car, where the other one was it rolled over a little like parking pyramid thing and just rested itself up against a tree and dented my front fender just enough. Just a few months after I bought the car. I mean, I got this thing back in the summer, and here we are again. Uh, I'm, I'm assuming this is Paris. Again, I haven't seen anything to tell me that it is. But honestly, I, I'm, I'm satisfied. I've just done a circle. I know that I have seven seconds. I have timed it again. I'll have to cut out that blank spot as best I can. Here we go. No, oh, we were in Nance. Nance? Jim Nance? Whatever. Not that far away. Final guess. No way we're going to get 20,000. But I'm satisfied either way. All it takes is just that one, especially when you have such a high demand on your own ability. Now, I feel this is Germany at least. Oh, before I forget as well, the last three minutes or so, I will mention again the album I listened to this week as I am listening, to, at least attempting to listen to one out new album I haven't heard a week. And let's see, two weeks ago, the first one. I'm not going to do this every week where I'm just like, well, last year and then the week, week before. No, I'm not going to do that. Let's see, first week was uh, Phanagram's third or threat. I just saw an Austrian flag, I believe. No, that's not Austria. That's a beer flag, it seems. Get me back home. I need to stay on this main thoroughfare. Well, uh, why is it doing this? I no, okay. Very slowly, get us out into the road and go straight. Thank you. All right. Anyway, Phanagram third, I believe it was called, was the first one. Last week was highly suspect, and man, I'm just jumping everywhere. It's throwing me for a loop here. Well, it's because the photos aren't all in order here either, so I don't know what to say. Anyway, this week I listened to the latest, or most recent, I should say, um, Tenacious D album. I think it was called Post Apocalypto. And so far, of all three albums I've listened to this year, this one is the worst. And I'm very disappointed because I like Tenacious D. Starts off amazing with that first little intro where you're just, you know, the little skit intro, whatever you want to call interlude. I guess you could call it that, even though it's kind of a song. That's Ethiopian. No, it's whatever. Still have not figured out where this is yet, and I'm running out of time. Well, that is a German flag on the side with the EU, so I'm going to say it's Germany, so pick it. I'm going to say Frankfurt, even though nothing telling me anything. Um... But if you've never listened to anything they've done, their first album's amazing. It's great. It's hard to follow that one up. But this one, not so much. I mean, skits weren't great. Songs weren't great either. Um, not recommended. I mean, you can listen to yourself just to be like, all right, he says he didn't like this. Am I going to be thinking the same way he is? Wait a minute. No, that's another African. I thought that was like Belgian flag sideways, and I was about to be concerned. Hmm. Now, if I've remembered anything about um, 
immigration to Germany and the predominant cities where these go to. Man, there's a lot of blurred out areas on this. Like, this tree needs its privacy. Give me URL, please. I'm getting nothing. But, yeah, if you have not listened to the first Tenacious D, it came out in, like, fucking 2001. It's great. Fantastic. Dave rolling the drums. Leave the keyboardist from Fish. Did keyboards. <laughs> uh, there's a couple other people in the album as well, but it's great. Cannot recommend that one. However, this new one, not so much. But hey, if anything that you have heard new or you'd be like, hey, maybe you'll like this from the other couple of things I've mentioned, uh, leave them in the comments below as well as also give me uh, suggestions for other maps as well. I'll always take them. All right, me just completely forgot about the time, but it just paused out perfectly. Anyway, Bremen got the got it right in a sense, country at least. Um, Indonesia fucked me, but took a stab at it, and it just happened to be the wrong stab. I don't know what to tell you, but just to finish the thought, yeah. Anything as far as maps, songs, I mean albums, you want me to listen to? I'll give them a shot as well. Just put them in the comments below. And we'll uh, continue doing this through Friday this week. And uh, thanks all for watching. Uh, and we'll just see it come Friday. Right here. Right then. Goodbye.